Hello everyone, I'm Niranjan Pathari, Marketing Manager in TI's Power Management product line. One of the most exciting areas in power technology is nanopower harvesting, systems that extract and manage small amounts of power from a variety of ambient sources, such as light and solar, thermal or electromagnetic, or vibration, just to name a few. Harvesting energy from breakthrough technologies from TI is opening up a whole new world of low power devices in a wide range of applications applications that are simply not possible with traditional battery-powered systems. From solar-powered sensors for wireless monitoring of factories, farms, homes, and buildings, to using body heat to power sensors on medical and fitness equipment, TI and leading energy harvesting partners are creating a complete ecosystem for designers to envision and create. Building on the vision of having batteries that last for years, TI offers designers the industry's most efficient nanopower harvesting solutions in a growing family of products that extract and manage power from microwatts to milliwatts. These products from TI offer unique features to help in the design of truly efficient nanopower solutions, including low quiescent currents, typically 350 nanoamps, a conversion efficiency greater than 90%, even at currents as low as 15 microamps, user programmable maximum power point tracking for optimized energy extraction, and a cold start capability for very low voltage input conditions. As an example, today I will show you one of the most popular products in TI's family of nanopower harvester ICs, the BQ25504. The BQ25504 is an ultra low power boost converter that also includes battery management, a user programmable MPPT capability, a cold start feature, and flexibility in interfacing to a variety of energy sources and energy storage elements. These features and capabilities make the BQ25504 truly unique in the industry. Okay, let me show you how it works. Here, you see a typical application of the BQ25504, a complete system called wireless sensor node that is entirely powered by ambient light. There are no batteries in this system. The energy to run this system is extracted from ambient light using TI's BQ25504 energy harvesting IC. In other words, only ambient light is used to energize this system. This wireless sensor node contains TI's BQ25504 and three other commonly available IC components, a set of photovoltaic cells, a microprocessor IC, and a low power radio IC to manage the communication to a central hub computer. The BQ25504 extracts the ambient light captured by the photovoltaic cells and further processes it into usable energy to power the TI's MSP430 microprocessor. The MSP430 microprocessor is used to monitor a small onboard temperature sensor. The low power radio CC110 then radios the measured temperature and other related information to the central hub. The central hub is a receiver that receives information from the sensor node. The red blinking lights indicate the radio transmission. You can see here that it's transmitting at three second intervals. The hub can now further process this information it receives. For example, it can display in graphical format on a user interface such as the one you see here. So as you have just seen, the BQ25504 is capable of harvesting and converting ambient energy into useful power that can energize low power electronics. All of this without the need for batteries, thus enabling the creation of a batteryless system. And all the capabilities of the BQ25504 are packed into a small footprint, 16 lead package that's just three millimeters by three millimeters. From low power to nano power, TI is delivering the most efficient energy harvesting technology into new and existing markets like wireless sensor nodes and networks, factory and plant automation, process control and monitoring, oil and gas production, and more. To get more information on these breakthrough solutions from TI, please visit ti.com slash energy harvesting ICs. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.